Hi everyone, I wanted to give you a quick video demo on how to use this piece of software that I wrote called Ground Route Translator or GR Translator. And uh, right now it's just uh, a version for the Mac. If there's enough interest, I might uh, translate this into something that'll run on a PC. But let me give you a quick overview of how it works. GR Translator is a software program that speeds the design and translation of ground route data to be used by the World Traffic Plugin for X-Plane. So designing routes for use by the World Traffic Plugin can be a tedious process, and especially when creating several departures and arrival routes for several different runways at an airport. As of this release, there are several tools already published that aid in the creation of ground route files. And ground route translators' process of designing and creating ground routes are a little bit different from the other existing plugins and utilities. Uh, it's a three-step process. First of all, you design the ground routes that you'd like inside World Editor or WED uh, using a set protocol and procedure, and I'll explain that in detail in just a moment. And then you use Ground Route Translator to parse and translate the earth.wed.xml file into the format of a ground route file. And then finally, you just copy the generated ground routes to the appropriate folders and fly or test. Ground routes are created and laid out in the Taxi Line tool in WED. Uh, I'm not going to give a demo of the World Editor right now. There's plenty of other places to find that online. But let me just walk you through the process. And one quick uh, hint in WED, it's really uh, handy to have uh, the taxiways and taxi lines that are for the airport um, actually put into groups. And that way you can turn these off and uh, not have to look at that stuff. Or you can actually leave them on and just set the lock so that you're not uh, selecting them while you're ed editing the ground route. So ground routes are laid out using the taxi line tool. That's that guy right there. And uh, it's very, very similar to designing taxi lines in a airport layout. And I'm going to make a uh, an arrival route that's going to be for runway 27. So the planes are going to come in here and land on 27, taxi down this taxiway, and come over here and go to the parking. So I want my taxi line, and I'll just have them touch down about here, maybe slow down here, start the turn here, uh, go to this point, and then come down over here, do another turn, and Maybe pass that up, go to here, and then come down here, and something like that. So that's my arrival route. Now, I'm going to switch back to my uh, selection tool, and you can see that it named this taxi line to Linear Feature 2. And what I want to do is change the name of this. I'm going to change Linear Feature 2 to something more appropriate that my software will actually use and translate. So I'm just going to rename that. You can you can uh, click double click it and select it or delete all this out of the way. And the name needs to start with either ARR for arrivals or if it's a departure route, it would be DEP for departure. So one or the other, ARR or DEP. This happens to be an arrival route, so I'm going to make it ARR. And then the next thing that I want to put right after the ARR or the DEP uh, value is the number of the runway that this would be for. So this is runway 27, so I'm going to type 27. And if, uh, if you want, like say, let's say the uh, runway is 03, we want to put 03. If it's uh, 14 left, we want to put 14L. Again, whatever runway this route is for. So I'm going to put ARR for arrival, and I'm going to put 27, because this is an arrival on runway 27. Then I'm going to put a space in the name. And then the next thing I want to do is create a list of numbers designating the aircraft types for this particular route. And those aircraft types need to be separated by hyphens. So again, refer to the documentation that comes with World Traffic Plugin. Or uh, I've also repeated that list in my documentation with the Ground Route Translator software. So in this list, there's not going to be fighter jets landing on this runway, or there's not going to be super heavy jets, heavy jets, medium jets, medium props, 
small jets, maybe a small prop. Uh, so I'm going to start off with number six, and I'm going to put a hyphen. Uh, maybe a light jet, so that'd be a seven, and put another hyphen. And then maybe an eight, and another hyphen that would be a light prop or general aviation prop plane. And then maybe a helicopter, which would be a number nine. So you just put the list like that, and these can be, uh, again, these can be whatever you want, uh, as long as they match the list. So it can be zero if you want everything, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can put, put them all in there, or any combination of the, of the list. So you could do one, four, seven, nine, again, whatever is appropriate for this ground route. So again, my list was six, seven, eight, nine. And we'll go with that. And then the next thing in the name is you want to just put another space, and then you can put a comment. And the comment is strictly for your information. It has nothing to do with how the software actually operates. So I'm going to put uh, taxi to fuel. And if, I don't, is that hard? if that's hard to read, we can put uh, underscores in here maybe. Or you can actually put spaces if you want. I don't think it matters. And I'll press enter. And now I have my ground route renamed to the appropriate name that will allow my translator software to generate a ground route. This is where it comes in handy to group stuff because, as you can see, I've made a couple other routes here. And we could pick these and pick this guy. And then come up here and group all of those and call this uh, ground routes. And then that way you could turn these on or off or lock them. I'll turn this one off and let me show you another arrival for 36. And you can see this one here. This and actually uh, airplanes land here on 36, run down here, do a turnaround, come back, taxi around and stop there. Here's a look at another departure route for 36 runway 36 takes off from this parking spot taxis around holds here and pulls onto the runway and off it goes and here's another one that's real similar that comes from way over here and does the taxi and comes over here and goes from uh, for runway 36 so again you can kind of see that this gets littered up pretty heavy after you make a bunch of routes and this is a handy way just to turn these things off and uh, keep them locked if you don't want to edit it. I'll walk you through another quick example of a departure route uh, for, let's just say, for runway 36. And so I want to go to my taxi line tool. And let's say we're going to start a plane here. So we want to go here. Uh, it's going to turn about there, go to here, come down here, turn about there, go to here. Um, then it's going to do a hold here. I'll explain that in just a second. And then it's going to turn, turn, turn. And that'll be it. And you can see that it's named Linear Feature 3. So again, we need to rename it to the appropriate name to get it to work with my software. So I'll just press Enter. It'll highlight everything. This is a departure route, DEP. It's for 1 by 36. I'm going to put a space. And then uh, I need to include the airplane types that will use this particular route. So uh, it's probably the same combination of my previous example. So that will be 6, 7, 8, 9. And if I want to put a comment here, I could put a comment if I want. And that's it. So let me do a quick explanation about runway control IDs. And again, you can read about the runway control IDs in the documentation that comes with the World Traffic plugin. If a runway control ID is needed at a certain point in the route uh, for a runway crossing or a taxi path that occupies a runway, it is designated with two components. If a hold point is needed, so for instance, right here, this would be a hold point, that guy right there. If a hold point is needed, uh, that would be a runway control ID number one. So then the node's line attribute, which is this guy right here, should be changed to runway hold black. And that will designate that particular point 
right here a runway hold point. Now one other thing is is that you need to designate what runway that point is a hold for. And that happens to be a point that's holding for this runway, runway 36. And so what I'll do is I'll make sure that I have that point selected and you can see the line attribute is still changed. And the only thing I want to do here on the name is I want to just put a hyphen and a 36. And that will mean that that's a hold point for runway 36. Again, if it's a runway hold point for, let's say, a, air, a runway 12 right, you would put 12R, and it would take that. So again, the, the trick here is put a hyphen and then whatever runway this is for. So mine is 36. The other runway control ID is a number 2, and this is indicated by changing the node line's attribute to a checkered white roadway type. So just for an example, if you wanted a, a point to be a number 2, you would highlight that point. I'm going to change that guy, and we'll change him to that. And let's say, if I, let's say I want all of these rest of these points to be that. I can select them all, hold down the Option key, and click here, and click checkered white, and it changes them all. And the only other thing that you want to do is you need to designate again what these special points are for, which runway they're for. So node 8 is for runway 36. Node 9 would be for runway 36. And node 10 would be for runway 36. And then we're done. So once the ground routes are laid out, once they're named correctly here, once you have the appropriate points, or runway control ID points set in the name and the line type, um, once you've got all of those things lined out, uh, then the next thing that you would do would be to just save the file. So I'm going to come up here and say File, Save. And what that's going to create is that file right there, the earth.wed.xml. And again, that's the file that WED uses to remember all of the data about your airport. And the next thing you would do would be to run the software GR translator, ground route translator. And you can see the only thing that it makes, it makes a little uh, database file that's temporary. There's no reason ever to mess with that. that uh, comes and goes by itself, gets deleted by itself when it uh, when it's finished using it. And so the software launches like this. It just gives you a hint here, use the menu above to open a properly prepared earth.wed.xml file and uh, refer to the documentation for a detailed explanation or finish watching this video. So all we would do is say open wed.wed.xml and then I'll navigate to the right folder which I'm in and I just want to pick that file and I'm going to say open and it says that it read KVLA's earth.wed.xml file there was two arrival routes and three departures found you can see all of the data gets filled out in this list so just real quick there's a note that pops up one time and uh, this goes away after you um, see this one time it says click in any cell to edit the data if necessary Press the return or tab key to finish editing a cell. And when finished, use the menu above to save the ground route files. So that's uh, basically it in the, op in the operation of the software. Uh, the default speeds for arrival routes, uh, the landing touchdown point is at 35. And then the rest of the speeds default to 5 knots. And so if you want those to be slower, this would be the place that you would change it. And then also, if uh, you want a particular heading to be on a point, uh, this would be the place that you could change it. And again, you see the different nodes. Uh, you see this is a. Uh, you see my uh, comments that showed up here. And then also, you see the runways that these particular ground routes were for. These were run for runway 36. And here's some for 09, right there and right there. 
if you feel like you need to make any changes here, now would be the time to do that. Go ahead and make the changes to a uh, heading or a speed value. And then all that you would do is you would say save ground routes. And then you would pick a folder to where those would go. And I'm going to save them. I'm just going to go back here and make a folder that says ground routes. Uh, temp for temporary and I'm going to save those in there. I'll just hit select and it'll save those files. So now if we go look and see what it made, here it is, ground routes temp and there's all the different ground routes and you can see that it has taken that information and translated it. So once the software finishes writing the ground route files then all you need to do is copy the appropriate files into the appropriate folder. So departures go in the KVLA d under departure, KVLA, and the arrivals would go under arrival, KVLA. So the next thing you would do is just launch X-Plane and see what happens, see how things work. And if you need to go and make an adjustment, you can very quickly come back in here, move a node, like let's say we wanted it to be there, and let's say these weren't exactly right. Maybe we wanted it to be more like this. And maybe we wanted to move this one. That's all we would have to do. You could just save it again. Go back to the software. And I put this little feature in here, Reset Data. This allows you to just erase the database and start over. And so essentially it's just like quitting and restarting. And the next thing I would do is just open up the web file again. It would find them all. And make any necessary changes here. Save the ground routes. I'm just going to go right in the same spot. And again, uh, when you hit select here, it's going to actually overwrite any files that are in here without even uh, checking with you. So just know that it does that. And there it finished. I could copy these files back into the appropriate folders inside my X-Plane folder and uh, test them again. So that's the process. Feedback is appreciated. And thanks for taking the time to watch the video. Happy flying!